Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisies Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller of mostly these Goodwill blue boxes and anything else I can get my hands on to resell, I will resell. I am gonna be doing an unboxing today from Lake Worth, Lake Worth Florida, if I can talk. Um, and today I'm also gonna do, at the end of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and do that Dr. Lori um, review and go ahead and let you guys see um, the results from my um, Angel Skin Coral, Tahitian Pearls, and that um, turquoise ring. So I'll let you guys know how it goes and uh, at the end of this video. And if you are new to this channel, thank you so much. Um, well, if you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. I just hit over 500, so I was pretty excited about that. Um, my husband was like giving me pat on the back for that so it was kind of cool you know so um so thank you guys for subscribing and also uh if you are not subscribed please hit that subscribe button for me and yeah i hope you guys are enjoying thank you guys so much for your feedback and all your comments you guys know i always love a good comment and some good information so thank you guys so much for sharing I can get this guy open today. All right, one arm open or one side open. <laughs> All right, I think I can manage with this. So there's my little paperwork for that. All right, so first impressions or first thoughts here is costume. I see a lot of costume, a lot of jewels and all the fun stuff, so. We're just gonna move this over and we will go ahead and dig right in here. So we have, so I had you guys also ask, I'm just gonna throw this in here really quick. Um, I had you guys ask me kind of what I do with like the extra bits of jewelry. I've had, I think two or three people ask me this now and um, I usually do lot boxes. So whatever I don't pull out and resell myself, I resell the whole box itself. Um, to people who like to craft or people who um, just wanna do their own treasure hunt, they might see a couple pieces in there that they enjoy. So that's what I do with my boxes, if you guys are wondering. Um, I actually have a couple stocked up because I really need to work on it. I've been just really busy. You guys know I moved, so I've been really busy just getting the house set up, getting bedrooms. My kids' bedrooms are just set up now. and So I'm getting there, slowly, slowly getting there. Oh, Magnet. I thought I had it. Oh, I don't have my magnet. Oh well, that's okay. Mm, this looks like a pretty nice little bracelet. Uh, nothing too like spectacular about it, but it's not in bad shape either. So yeah, I'm probably gonna maybe keep that one. We will see how it goes. All right, next up is this guy. It's like fake, real fake gold chain here. So, earrings. So, you guys know if you've watched this before, you guys know that I like. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Give me one second. All right, guys. I know I've had a lot of interruptions in my videos lately, so I do apologize. I'm a stay at home mom, so I've got little ones and my. My daughter has been getting out of bed a lot lately and she's in her big girl bed, so she's learning. So, sorry, be patient with me, please. So, I usually like to set my earrings aside and just kind of, if I have matching ones at the end, these don't look like they're in great shape, so I'm probably gonna lot these up, but we'll see. Let's see how it goes. Looks like a whole bunch of metal bangle bracelets. Just, eh. I do, you know, make sure to tell people to make sure that um, you check your bracelets though um, because you can find some good stuff sometimes. Uh, NTL is what that says, NTL. This is a pretty little necklace, with a little flower. I might have to give this one to my daughter if she's lays down in her bed and takes a nap. <laughs> but it's in pretty good shape. Um, next up is this like tortoise shell. I think that's what it's called. I'm still new at this, so you guys, if I'm pronouncing something wrong, or at least I feel like I'm, I think we're going on like eight months of me getting these boxes now, but if I'm saying something wrong, please correct me. 
nicely. <laughs> I'm joking. I can take I can take some criticism. So I think this is kind of like a choker. Uh, yeah, I think this is at least it's supposed to be. That's kind of cool. A little heart on there. Not my style, but good shape. Really good shape. No, you know, no issues with the band. So this is pretty, pretty cool. All right, what is this? All right, is that bracelet that I just had earlier? It looks like it's broken. So. Hmm. So we got this, this big one, two big ones. Ugh. What is going on here? This is somehow wrapped into this one, and I like this one. It's got like these glass beads, uh, this large tooth, which I guess you could take the tooth off if you don't like it, but I like these beads themselves. I'm pretty sure these are glass beads. They look like glass to me, they feel. Yay! We got it on. I'm done. All right, I'm going to set this one aside. I'll take a look at it in just a second. And I'll be getting a new desk soon, so hopefully we won't have to look at the napkins anymore. <laughs> Uh, let's just go ahead and test this. Make sure that we're working with glass. Pretty sure we are, but let's just make sure. Yep. Oh. Oh. Well, maybe it's not glass. I mean, it's pretty high on the glass, though. Uh, maybe it is something else. It's not glowing higher than that glow. Oh, okay. Maybe it's quartz. Maybe it's like dyed or just quartz. Could definitely be quartz. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, now I'm, I'm going to backtrack on that. I think it's quartz. I think. Or like granite or something. I don't know. Still a cool necklace. Very like funky, really earthy style. And then the, the large tooth on there too. So I definitely like the beads. So she's going to get resold. Now this leaf looks pretty tarnished. So I'm going with, probably gonna lot this one. I do like the stone on here or whatever it is, but. I'm trying to make sure I keep my pile separate. I know I've said that a couple times, but I really try to separate the piles. All right, then just kind of grabbed a whole hoard of stuff here, so. Got a pretty large hoop earring. Hmm. I feel like maybe that has a mark in it. Maybe not. Let's see. I don't think so. I think that's just. I think it was just maybe scratch or something, but it's in pretty good shape. Very shiny, so I'm gonna set that in the earring pile. Looks like we have a couple earrings wrapped in here, so I'm gonna try and get these out. I'm going to attempt to get these out. Uh, all right, so we got a pretty little earring here, kind of like dream catcher style earring. Hmm. Doesn't look too bad. Oh, you guys, stop. I just had a ton of these in my last video. So this one looks broken, but an easy fix. Another Trafari, if you don't know what I'm talking about, a little Trafari. Trafari, uh, what is it, cocktail? I like to call it a cocktail. I know that's not, it's a charm. It's a charm. All right. Oh, my babies are chitter-chattering up there. Let's see if I can... I like this chain. Wrapped in there. Huh? 
Ay, ay, ay. This is a lot. There's a lot wrapped in here. It's a lot. It's a lot. Hmm. We're getting there, we're getting closer. Ooh, okay, so this is a nice chain. I wanna say it's 925, yeah. 925 Italy, so that's, that's a good chain to have. I love getting extra chains, especially 925 or the Trafari one is cool too, so. I don't mind if they're all tangled up together if they're gonna be 925, right? This twirling of the finger trick I'm obsessed with, so. Thank you for giving me that tip, you guys. All right, I think I see. Let's wiggle her loose over here. All right, here we go. We're getting there slowly, slowly. It stinks when they're super tangled up like this, especially for you guys in the video. I need to like start fast forwarding through some of this. So I know this can be a bit of time consuming. Mm -hmm. We're so close. the other one out now so it's great no marking on it but this is a nice chain but definitely gonna keep this it's a pretty good chain gotta let the little chain so this guy is just a mess I don't even know if I can I don't know what I think it's a necklace I'm sorry another necklace maybe all right so Got this like leather one out. It looks broken though, so. Let's keep untangling. All right, there's another one. I think this might be a part of this one. Yay, yay, yay. We got like. It's a new construction area, so we've got like every kind of truck back here right now, making all kinds of noises. Oh, got my kids chitter chattering in the background. It's a four leaf clover. Okay, I'm not gonna waste any more time to untangling this, but it looks like it's possibly a cute necklace. I just, I'll, I'll untangle it on my own time. <laughs> Next up is another tangle. Just kidding. This is another necklace. It seems fairly long, like loops around. It's kind of a couple of dented spots though, I think. Yeah, or just put together, put back together spots. I guess it's kind of supposed to be like that, but I'm gonna put that one aside as well. This is kind of, what's going on here? Is this like a, All right, there we go. I think it's supposed to hang like on this side. I've got a mysterious earring. So I think it's supposed to hang down like that. You guys can't see it. It's kind of cute with this little rose. La la love you. It says love you on it. Jewelry cade, jewel cade. It's in good shape. Little charms, hearts charms. Little dangle, it says JK on it. Jewel Kate, okay. She's in good shape. I'll do a little research and see if it's worth much. Worth my time to post. We will see. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be zero. Right? My husband just got me a robot vacuum though, so I'm... I don't mind the beads falling all over the floor at this time. 
All right, so I'm not gonna waste my time on tangling it, so I'm just gonna keep looking and see if I find. So this is a 925, it says on the back. Just kind of caught my eye, so 925 on there. That's a good one as well. I'll try and resell it, why not? 925, right? All right, just trying to go through, see, like a little pleather chain over there. And then beads, 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 tons of beads. Just trying to get to, oh, this chain is pretty nice. Trying to get to the goods, right? That's a nice chain though. Oh, it's like a double, double chain. See, pretty nice, pretty nice. All right, so these all look like costume and broken. Maybe earring really trying to make sure I'm not missing any earrings. Oh, there's another one of those like star bracelets. Put that in the, put them in the end of the pile. All right. Another earring and then there's another earring in there, but I'm not even gonna waste my time getting it out because I think the rest of this is gonna go in my lot pile. All right, this is a, it's a decent bangle actually. I don't. You know, I only pick out the bangles that I kind of got a little personality or something that looks a little bit different about them. So I'm going to keep that one. Lots to dig out here. Just trying to grab a couple handfuls at a time. All right, so. Got something wrapped in here. All right, this looks like a layered necklace. And then a little stretchy band. It's kind of heavy though, I wish I had my magnet. That's kind of cool. Another little pleather. I don't know what this is. Maybe a scarf clip, I can't remember. You guys always inform me and let me know what it is. So what is this? <laughs> I appreciate it, you guys. You guys are awesome, so keep it coming, please. So this is cool, uh, very shiny. I just wish it wasn't broken. It'd be an easy fix for somebody who wants to craft or something or use the jewels. So they're pretty nice jewels. Another little, kind of the same metal kind of on that other bracelet that I had. Um, yeah, I'll think about this one. Now we've got some Costume necklaces, sea pearl, and another little costume. I actually like the color on this. I just wish the chain was in better shape, but the coloring is nice. A nice, nice lot item. A little gold clip here. Oh, we actually have a marking in there. Oh, uh, where's my loop? 120th, 12K, I think that's what it says. Yeah, 120 12K, so I'll keep that. You never know when you need a little clip. I feel like this box is already kind of emptying fairly quickly. All right. All right, so another seed bead necklace, or earring necklace, <laughs> earring. An earring pile. This is a cute little elephant, jeweled elephant. Looks to be in pretty good shape, and you know, elephant stuff sells fairly well. It's a magnet, it's sticking all over the place. So I don't see a name or anything on this, but I'll definitely try and resell this just because it's in really good shape. It's jeweled. It's an elephant. Who doesn't like elephants? I like elephants. So, yeah, that's a good one. And don't be discouraged if you're just getting junk, guys. It can sack. It says S-A-Q. So I think that, I want to say that's Avon. This looks like a, like a real pearl to me. Mm, actually, let me see. I don't know. It kind of looks pretty real, in my opinion. But, well, it does have some jewels in there, so... I think SAC, I want to say SAC is Avon, but 
I could be wrong. Yeah, nothing on the jewel, but it's a pretty necklace. It's a little tarnished on here. Not too bad, but we'll think about her. Ooh, a little peace sign bangle. No markings. It's a little, it's a little wore out. Another bangle, a little twist bangle. All right, let's see this guy. This is a chunky little necklace here. Okay, so I thought these were maybe earrings stuck to it. So it's kind of maybe like a fishing net or something. So yeah, these are all like little charms on there. And this is a cute little necklace. I wish the chains were in better shape because the necklace itself is actually pretty, pretty cute little design on there. I like the kind of like the fishing net. Got like sea stuff. <laughs> My kid would love these little charms. He's really into sea creatures. So that's a pretty, pretty necklace. All right, I found the match, but these are very tore up, so I'm probably gonna lot these guys. Oh. All right, this, uh, this looks fake to me, this pearl. Showing a little, I think I just scratched it right off, that little uh, coating, yeah, you can see it. No bueno. Mm. Kind of looked like Mother of Pearl, I think is what I... Mm. I don't see any markings like 925 or anything on there. This is a pretty little beaded necklace. I like the colors on it. And then it's got this chain stuck in there. I'll get it out later. This is cool, a little faux pearl. Just trying to see how scratched up the pearls themselves are. They feel kind of heavy, so maybe they're glass. Yeah, see some of that's just kind of scratched up. Okay, and it twists. Most of them just pull. So this would also be a really good one for like crafting or re, you know, if you're making jewelry and you want to re reuse some of these, you definitely could. I just I'm not gonna sell it because it is. It does have the scratches and some missing stuff on there, so I'm gonna put that to the side. So this is also an interesting bangle, kind of that gunmetal type of metal on there, that color. And like I said, I like to get like the something that's a little different for bangles because those seem to sell better. This looks like aluminum, maybe with some wood, a little wood toggle or something. I think that's what it's called. Oh, this looks like a nice little, another one of these. So gosh, what is, what is this star? I got this, a lot of these stars on there. I think it, is that a Jewish star? I don't remember. Don't recall, but now I've gotten three of these and this looks like some little freshwater pearls maybe. I can't, let me see if I can get one a little. I mean, I feel the grit a little bit. It's kind of hard, they're so small. All right, yeah, there's a grit to that. So that's that's cool. Maybe 925, I don't know. All right, we do have a little. Yep, 925. So that's awesome. Wonder if these have any markings. Just double check these real quick. Has this, these are, you know, the open stars or not the solid stars. I don't see a 925 mark from that one. Not on that one either, but. That's nice. This is definitely, definitely gonna resell this one. And I'll think about the other two, but. Oh, this kind of like little Aztec vibes. It's a little tarnished though, a little worn. Oh, it's a nice little sea star. Oh, it's got his tag on it too. This, this chain is really nice. Are we 925? Ooh, this little piece of little. Might would have to change that lobster claw in there. Uh, yeah, that claw doesn't seem like it wants to stay shut all the way. I mean, I might would sell it at a discounted price or something if it's 
What's the tag say? Okay, Sadie Greens. So this is Crystal Starfish. Uh, $20. I mean, I'd probably sell that for about $20. Chain's so nice, though, but that lobster claw. Uh, I don't know. Picking and choosing, you know, what I should and shouldn't sell can be a little hard sometimes. All right, this bangle looks a little, a little beat up. Um, another little dangle earring. It looks a little tarnished to me. Put it to the side and see if I can find a match, but don't have a lot of hope for that one. Let's see, let's see. This is a pretty little thing though. Oh, okay, well it was, just broke off. Oh darn, it was pretty. <laughs> Chain's a little worn, but I'm sure you could fix that. God, it's just so flimsy. Mm. I do like that lead though. I love just like intricate designs. God, it's so cool. You see all that metal, it's just intertwined all in there. Super cool what people can do, man. It's just wild, always blows my mind. Oh my gosh, and just random update. <laughs> Finally getting my wedding ring resized. It's getting resized probably as we speak. Should have it in my next video. Can't wait to show you guys how I had it on and I don't even know. Can't remember the last time I've had that sucker on. I've been rocking my fake lately. Little glass bead. Mm. Aldo chain. What are you? Oh, I don't know that. Don't know that brand. You can see that. Looks broken. Yeah. Or it just came off that hook. Or maybe is this gun metal or is this gun metal? I don't know. <laughs> uh it's in decent shape. I just I don't know. Like statement, you know, statement necklaces are kinda hard. For me to sell. It's kind of a hard pick. I really need to think about maybe doing a lot box instead. Jewel Cade again. Don't know what that is. I've never had Jewel Cade before. Uh, a little tarnished. We'll see. We'll see about that. Oh, it's like stretchy band. Soul Sista. I am you. You are me. We are Soul Sistas. Love. I wonder if that's like 925 or anything. I like the stretchy band on it. Does it come undone at all? Oh, it does. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, it does look like I have a mug. 925, so maybe put that on like a 925 chain, clean it up, and take it off the stretchy one. It would definitely look better. something on it. It's very worn. Ho oh. O M E. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. It's a little stinky. I know that can be like silver too. It can be a little stinky sometimes, so another sea bead. This little guy. Little tiny guy. Don't see any markings on it. Wish I had my magnet. Oh, that's a that's a pretty one. We're almost all the way to the bottom already, guys. My goodness. I have to weigh this box. <laughs> oh, another little teddy. I've had a teddy before. I think I still have it for sale. I can't remember. I cannot remember. Um, hmm. really tarnished. It really stinks because these are so precious. Might let one of my kids play with it or something. Little galaxy ring or maybe Saturn or something. It's pretty with a little Aurora Borealis. My hands are dirty from this box. Another chain. Um, 
and put it to the side. I like to test the chains just in case. Here's another cute one for my kids. Little monkeys. A glass bead. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is nice. It's a nice pendant. I might could put that on a 925 chain and try and sell it. It's a nice pendant though. Very pretty, very shiny. Let's just test. See some shiny gold over there. I wonder what that is. All right, nothing on there. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep that. That's pretty, it reminds me of David Yearman, but obviously not, I wish. <laughs> Something forged. I want to say maybe like Everlast metal. I don't know what that is. Something metal. You see like the stick guys kind of on there too. It's a pretty brooch. A little bit of tarnishing. Oh, nope. Just some crud. That's cool though. Cool piece. I'm gonna go to this this gold next because it sure is shiny over there. All right, nine two five stamp on there. Sterling silver, nine two five. It's dog bone. Okay, it says Brooke. Brooke, I have your bracelet. Wish I didn't say Brooke on it. Oh, poodle, and I got another poodle. What's up with you guys? Little poodles. Sterling. Are you OC? What does it say? Maybe it's a 925. I can't tell. Let's see what that one says again. RCC? Yeah, that's not 925, right? RQC or ROC? Rockster? Hmm. This looks to be probably an all 925 bracelet then, though. So that's awesome. The dog bun doesn't have a stamp on it, but gosh, it's so shiny. Oh, nope, it does. Just didn't see it up in that corner. Yeah, that looks like a RQC stir. I don't know what RQC means, but this is pretty. Very pretty brook, poodle, got a little like scissors or like cutting, like hair salon or something maybe. So that's nice. That's a nice, nice piece. All right, I saw this in the box earlier. Ooh, 14K. I'm gonna test it. BBB. I think I've heard of that before. BBB. Bailey something. Yeah, BBB. I've got a marking on here too. 14K. It's an ROC too. Insane as that. Huh. I always like to look at the class too, because you will mark that class too. Yeah, 14K. Oh my goodness, guys. This is a 14. I haven't had like a solid. I mean, I've had the plated and the filled lately, but I haven't had a solid, solid gold in a minute now. So let's, let's scratch this up. Sounds like it's got a little weight to it, so. All right, do a little scratch on there. Let's just go ahead and knock it out with 14. All right, we got some 14 carat. Look at that. Not going away, so that's good. So hard to see with this ring light. There you go. Yeah, so that's 14, that's awesome. That is great. Wow, so both of these, and I think that says that same stamp, that ROC, or maybe it's BBB. I know that, you know, the top part's BBB, but 
R O C. I swear that's a R Q C R O C something like that. That says I don't think that says sixteen K. Well now fourteen. <laughs> like I've never even heard of sixteen K before. That's definitely fourteen. But the R O C, I swear that's R O C. Or RQC. Hmm. I'll have to look that up. That's wild to have both of those stamps on here. I wonder I mean it says sterling, so I don't want to say maybe white gold, but maybe a lot. And the same poodle too. Like look at that. Exactly the same poodle. That's crazy. All right, you know what? We're just gonna test it anyways. I know it says sterling, but mm, a lovely scratch on there. Just test the class too, why not? I just don't know what ROC it is. What is ROC? I'm gonna do a 10K. Let's see what happens. Nothing. All right, I'm just gonna put a little on this on the end, see what happens. All right, so Sterling, it says Sterling, but the ROC is just throwing me off. It's pretty legit since the 10K didn't, didn't take it off, so that should be, should be Sterling then. Well, that's awesome. That's, that's a real good find right there, guys. Holy cow. I mean, this bracelet could be worth like hundreds of dollars in, or at least a hundred so dollars. So I know it's Bailey something. I'll, I'll put it in here. And then both of these, though. How awesome is that? Brooke, I hope this isn't both your bracelets. Well, it's mine now, but pretty cool, right? Two poodles. Pretty cool. All right. Let's keep going. You don't have much left, but let's keep going. Rachel, that's a pretty necklace. I think that's like, what, filigree or something, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I'm still learning all these jewelry words. I like this necklace, but it's getting a little complicated. Yeah, it's a nice one. No name, but nice. Nice looking, at least. That's pretty cool. I think it's aluminum. Leaf or flower. Sorry. Sorry about that. have much more to do. I'm just trying to kind of pull most of it out. I don't have any to keep digging, digging, digging. Mm, this is pretty. Little flower. Little encased flower. Brooch. It's cute. She's cute. Got a lot of broken pieces down here. I'm gonna have to look through and make sure I don't have there's this little charm. It's like gold, but mm, it's kind of bubbling. So, I'm sure, that one's not real. And then I found the other Cosmo earring. This one's in pretty good shape. I don't know. I might try and sell these. They're different. It looks cool. I don't know if that's like a cross or not. I don't know. Let me do some research. Let's go for a match. All right, all right. Down to the bottom here. Just so many of these, like, t all these pieces. Like, tons of these pieces. So I'm going to go through each one. Make sure we're not working with anything here. All right. Ooh, it kind of matches that, doesn't it? A little bit. Mm. I don't see any markings on it, but put it in my earring pile nonetheless. And we've got the uh, cloisonne, I think it is. Very pretty. I hope I find the match. I said it's a pretty one. It's very uh, kind of unique or different too with the the triangle too. It's very very pretty. I have a whole container full of these of like mis of mismatched ones. Hoping one day I'll come across the pair. One of these days, hopefully. Oh, just snap something off. Um, hmm. actually, I like the coloring on this. It's very large. But I actually, I just didn't like the backing. Kind of looked a little grungy on there. But the front is really pretty cool. 
festive. I like this necklace. Napier, and then a patent number. But Napier, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it sounds, sounds good to say it like that. It feels good. I do like this necklace, this is nice. I've sold Napier before, Napier, I don't know how to say it, but it's a good looking necklace. I actually like that one a lot. We've got this leather bracelet. No markings on it, but it's a nice little leather bracelet. Little uh, markings on there, looks good. Pretty decent shape too. I was gonna say maybe it's plate or something, but it's got like a whole chunk. You see that chunk missing in there? Yeah, right there. I got some dyed shells. Oh, what's this necklace? What are you? All right. Oh, I thought it was a tag. It's just like a little chain or something. Okay, it's not a bad chain though. It's not in bad shape, at least. Put a little coupon earring. Hong Kong. Oh, taped on there. Oh. Like dyed shells or something. Yeah, it definitely looks like some dyed shells. Mm. Definitely wore out. Ooh, this is pretty. Sorry, I didn't even show it to you guys. This is pretty. It kind of matches those earrings a little bit. Or earring, I should say. I don't know if I have the other one yet. GC? Or GC? Or is that an LC? I want to say GC. Hmm, this is nice. Good shape. Definitely a resell item. I actually like that a lot, too. I do love some purple, so I like the different hues of the purple on there. That's a good one. All right, another, I'm gonna say gunmetal. <laughs> At least it reminds me of gunmetal. Is that like an arrow or something? Yeah, legit, it's an arrow. And I think it says just China on it. Yeah, China. Wonder if this was just like a, this is a watch band or if it's Mm, don't see anything there. China. Hmm. An arrow pointing up, so interesting. Maybe, I don't know. Definitely looks like more like a men's watch, maybe. Or not watch, but bracelet. I don't sell a lot of men's jewelry, but... All right. This is cool. Cool piece, um, broken, but I like these little roses on there. How broken are we? So it looks like we're missing like a loop. I don't know, this might be a piece that'd be good to like advertise in my lot box though, so. T, 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 T all over the place. I think that's a T, it looks like a T to me. Hmm. I don't see any markings though. I was thinking maybe Trafari or something, but nope. I don't see any, any markings. Looks good though. Looks to be in decent shape. Wish I had my magnet so I could see if we're working with magnetite or anything on this. Kind of reminds me of like planets or something. Some kind of planet situation. I think these go in like a cuff and a suit. Oh, Sarah Coventry. Like something for a suit, I'm, I think. Is there a cove? I'll have to put that aside and do a little searching on that. Ugh, I really wish I had my magnet. <laughs> I could get up and get it, but I don't want to interrupt the video. So, this kind of looks like sterling to me, just the way it's tarnished. These little stones are nice. Let's see if we have anything. Oh. Oh. Hmm. 
Mm, it's kind of like down on my class though, but then I like to jump up a little bit. So, let's try another one. These are nice though, these are really nice. Gosh, it goes pretty high. Maybe like garnet, tourmaline, iolite, or maybe aqua, it could be aqua. It went up there, right? Did it go all the way up there? Mm. I mean, it was on the line, on the precipice. Mm. It's pretty. Definitely reselling this guy. Little hearts, kind of heart shape. Well, these aren't necessarily heart, but these are. So that's a nice one too. Maybe an aqua stone. Maybe just glass. I don't know. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to look at it. All right. It looks like Trafari. Just a crown Trafari too. So it's a vintage earring. Very vintage. Like what is it? The 60s or 50s? So that's nice. Wish I had a match in here. I don't see any at the bottom. Mm, I don't see anything at the bottom. Just broken pieces. Uh, what does that say? What does that say? E L I. I don't know what that says. L E maybe? I don't know what that says. I see Thailand in there. Lowell, Lowell, size seven, Lowell, in Thailand. Hmm. Oh, man. Oh, like we do have a match. Matching pair. This one looks just as gunked up on the back as the other one. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. I do like these, though. Funky little things. This is pretty. Oh, looks like another Trafari. I hope it's got the little C stamp. So this is a vintage piece. This is in really good condition. This is really nice. Oh, I love this chain on here. It's so nice and the like tie around, I guess. What you want to call it? Look at that chain though. Ooh, the chain is pretty. It's a pretty little chain. It looks like we got some more like pearls, little baby pearls in here. Ooh, those are gritty too, so that's awesome. Are we two necklaces? Are we, yep, Ooh, we are. We are two layered necklaces, so that'd be really fun to layer those up together. With pretty little pearls on there. Nice little things. All right guys, last couple, another one of these. I didn't just pull that out of there, did I? One of those earrings. Or, yeah, earrings. Let's see, star. I don't see any markings on it, but it kind of looks like a tarnished. Kind of seems a little, a little light though. Um, hmm. Not sure about this. Maybe it came off of these chains. Let's see, maybe it's. Nah, it's not the same color, right? Is it? Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about that. And then a very bent up bracelet and this guy. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Did I do this one? I don't know. Sisters are alike. Kind of looks like pewter colored to me. Hmm. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate the support. I hope you guys enjoy this. Looks like we found two really awesome little poodles here. So wish me luck on these. And um, like I said at the end of the video, you guys go ahead and I'm going to switch over and do my, um, do my appraisal from Dr. Lori. So thank you so much for stopping by this video. And uh, hit that subscribe button for me, of course. And hit the like button. Leave me a comment. And uh, until next time. And if you're gonna continue watching, we're gonna go ahead and start the appraisal from Dr. Lori. You guys know I'm a big fan of Dr. Lori. I love her, she is awesome, so informative. If you guys haven't heard of her, I don't know how. <laughs> just kidding, I just learned about her a couple months ago. 
but she um, she's really great. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, uh, she's great to answer those. You can check her out on our website. Um, she was super friendly again, absolutely loved her. And um, yeah, so first up, I had three pieces that I got to choose again. I did a video call with her uh, a couple, probably a month ago now. And I did uh, the turquoise ring that we had a couple videos back. And then we had the, um, we weren't sure if this is Mother of Pearl or uh, Angel Skin Coral. And then we also had this one, the Pretty 925 chain with the possible Tahitian pearls. So first up, we are gonna do, um, let's see. My husband flipped my paper around on me and I had written down all the fun facts about these. All right, so first up was these pearls, and I was curious if they were Tahitian. She said, absolutely, these are Tahitian pearls. She said for the pearls themselves, it's going to be $100, um, which is awesome because they're pretty, they're not small, they're really pretty. And then um, for the chain, it was actually 925 Italy, and I was actually really surprised the chain was going to be at least 150 um, plus. And she said, you know, she gives you tips on on appraising as well, like different seasons of when to sell and when not to sell. So um, she said anywhere from 250 to 350 for these pearls. Uh, just depends on the season and you know if Christmas is around the corner. Um, but she said easily um, just for the chain and and the pearls themselves, 250 to 350. So that was a really awesome, awesome result on those. I absolutely love these. I've actually been wanting some Tahitian pearls, so I might keep these. I'm not sure. Uh, next up is the Angel Skin Coral. This was also a really awesome, cool necklace. It's 14 karat gold clasp with that gorgeous flower detail on the top. Um, this is a vintage piece. And then these are angel skin coral that the balls are um, one eighth of an inch and then the cylinders are three eighths of an inch. Um, I think the weight was like 50 grams or 50 something grams. So it's a pretty, pretty heavy necklace. Uh, I absolutely love it. So I'm really debating on keeping this. I actually already have it online, but I'm just so debating on it. So she said right away, she saw this pink in there. You can see the little pink streaks in there. And she said it's angel skin coral which was awesome. It's a vintage piece probably um, before, she, I think she was saying like around the 50s. Um, so it was a really beautiful, absolutely gorgeous necklace. And um, she put this with the clasp and, uh, and the three strands with the weight of it. Um, she put this at um, 350 to um, 450. So this was a really awesome, awesome, awesome find. Um, and these were all in the same box. So I just, it was an amazing box. <laughs> Thank you, Florida. I think I got that from Florida. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful necklace, vintage piece, um, and worth between 350 and 450. So it was a really awesome one. And then last but not least, this gorgeous turquoise ring. I wasn't sure if it was real turquoise. I couldn't find the stamp on there. It says the sterling. Um, but she told me the spacing out of this, uh, of the balls right here, the silver balls, which I still need to clean this up, but um, these little silver balls and being spaced apart, um, she was pretty positive that was Navajo. Uh, and then with that stamp on the back, she also, this is why I love Dr. Lori, is she would let me know um, if she comes across that um, bullhead. I want to say it's a bullhead, maybe it's a cow, but I'm thinking bullhead on there with the horns. And she said, maybe a buffalo, actually, I don't know, one of those. Um, and she said that this uh, definitely looks like a Navajo ring to her with the stamp she wasn't sure about, but she said she would contact me and let me know what um, that stamp is if she comes across it. And then of course these big chunks of this turquoise. So she said this ring is anywhere between uh, $200 and $250. So that was also a really awesome, awesome find. So um, all of this together, I think we were close to, um, what was that like? $900 or something. So yeah, this was really, really cool. Really awesome finds. I always do recommend Dr. Lori. Um, 
just because she's so informative. She doesn't just give you, you know, uh, your answers on, on your jewelry, but she also helps you for a reseller like me who's new in the business, somebody who has such great knowledge. She shares with me always what my what my best time to sell pieces, if I should hold on to pieces, and I just really thoroughly enjoy having her videos with me. So I highly recommend her. Check out her website. She's got tons of different options. She'll even go shopping with you. So seriously, check her out. She's she's really great. But um, but yeah, so I was really excited about these results. So turquoise, we got some gold, we got some Tahitian pearls. So uh, we hit the gold mine on this and my jewelry collection is thoroughly expanding <laughs> and I absolutely love it. So thank you guys so much. Like I said earlier, hit that subscribe button for me, hit that like button and uh, until next time.